everyone welcome back to another garden tour episode and I think we should make a playlist my garden it sounds so cool and to be honest it's a hard work and it's like full-time job and it's hard because you already have a full-time job but you still want to kind of go to that planting gardening uh, like resort it's like doing something for your heart for your soul that's gardening so i wanted to show what eventually we've planted in those three raised beds and i was thinking oh this is too much i don't know what to plant in those and now uh, i'm thinking where to plant so i ended up although i know i planted everything very close to each other <laughs> i'm not a big gardener don't take any advices from me uh, i'm just i'm just a beginner who enjoys doing this so i planted everything very closely i have this lettuce section another lettuce red lettuce probably broccoli the broccoli is way too close because it gonna be like a big hopefully it will manage to grow we have some deer coming to neighbors so far they are going only to neighbors yard maybe they didn't still like check out our <laughs> or maybe they are waiting for everything to grow nicely big and juicy and then they'll join yeah so I planted here some of the salad cultures I planted some thyme lemon thyme i think it smells amazing they say if you plant some aromatic herbs you should keep those insects but not deer away from your garden here i have planted some carrot seeds they didn't come out as of yet but i can already notice some of them look i don't know if it's visible look this one this one so i'm sure i did a good job I also planted some onions they say they say um, you need to plant something like spicy and again aromatic to keep whatever insects or bugs away away from carrots so I did that here I have beets you can't see anything here so far because it's only seeds well, uh, arugula came out I noticed this morning I have arugula here arugula until this part and what else I have radishes beets I mean beetroot and that's the only bed that I'm saving this part is not nothing yet I haven't plant, uh, planted anything but here I have planted this morning carrots so that's about the raised beds and I want to show you something else on that side it looks like all the trees we've planted and by now we probably have planted about 50 trees um, I'll show you some of them it looks like every single tree is doing just perfect they are surviving they look I mean we got them without any leaves now you can see they, they look like full grown mature oh look at this apricot I didn't even notice the, the leaves so yeah so far so good with trees here we planted I don't know if it's a good idea or not because you know I don't want to add any other raised beds it's enough and I don't want to dig out the soil I don't know why because everything looks nice and um, tidy I, I don't want to do like huge gardening so cabbages went into these pots I don't know if this will work out we'll find out when we do another episode my garden <laughs> we lost all the cabbages deer ate all the cabbages um, we'll see how they do I also got from Amazon a very nice how do you call this like they're not planting bags so I didn't plant anything in this one yet but those I have my watermelon seeds and they came out pretty nicely I don't know if I should remove some of them 
so it's not too stuffed. I also planted ginger, turmeric, watermelon, watermelon and strawberries. Someone from our animals, of course, either dog, Alma or some of the cats digged out uh, the strawberries. But I put them, planted them back. Hopefully they'll survive. We have peonies. Four of them here. One in the backyard. And also yesterday we have mulched the front yard. Like refreshed the mulch. It was a big work we've done. And we planted some lavender and azalea. She just wanted to, and she's a good girl too. That's my oldest, my beautiful, my amazing Lilith. Um, yeah, what else did we plant here? Nothing, but I want you to meet our new family member. Hey, Eric. That's our uh, neighbor, Eric Schneider. Look at that. Look at that tractor. I'm gonna show you what he did with the tractor in our forest. Actually, he did like a huge work. We were thinking probably in a few years we'll be done with cleaning up all the uh, thorns, all these unnecessary bushes, branches. And he did that within an hour or so, right? An hour or maybe a little bit less or more. Well, that will be our new, we call it Malish, it's in Russian, that means baby. Because it does look like a baby, but it does very mature and adult work. Such a helpful car. Uh, should we take a ride? Let's take a ride to show them um, what Eric did on that side, on that side. Show the trees and also I want to show you something magical. You'll love it. True gardeners have their gloves <laughs> always with them. Okay, let's see. Let's roll around. <laughs> Hold on. Can I open this? Hopper. I always think I'm gonna jump out of the car if he goes too fast. Okay, I want to show you one of the apple trees we've planted. I don't know how many apple trees. This is Granny Smith and it's already, yeah, it's Granny Smith. Look at this blossom. And then we have two almonds here. The fig trees are doing great. I think we're gonna have our own figs summer well i think i hope oh that's the side i want to show you so this used to be like all covered in thorns and bushes branches lots and lots of wild blackberry branches and bushes i mean so wrinkly so uh, so painful so Eric cleaned up all this area and apparently the soil here is so fluffy and good looking so we ended up saving this soil for future gardening purposes that's that and he also gave us a ton of good quality soft and fluffy mulch so we're very thankful to have greatest neighbors ever Oh, more apple tree this is honey crisp and we have golden delicious we have jonah gold i mean we have tons of things uh, but we think we're thinking to get a few more just in case because uh, what kind of orchard 
desert has only 50 trees so we're still working on that um, yeah and also about 20 something bushes of different berries blackberry raspberry blueberry and that's it so far <laughs> okay i want to show you something in the forest actually let's go alma And by the way, if you guys live in South or North Carolina and you need any tree services, planting, removing, cleaning, trimming, whatever tree services you want to use, um, I mean, you need to call our neighbor Eric Schneider. We have his number in the description. Right, Alma? Yes. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is our gas tank I don't know how many uh, I don't know the amount <laughs> but we are very well prepared in case there is no electricity we also have that thing I don't know how it's called the the one what is it generator oh generator yes we have the generator we have Alma and we have the gas tank so we're good let's go <coughs> I want to show you these beautiful bushes. Hold on. Hold on. Look, look at this. We have these cherry trees. And we, I mean, we planted these two last year. And looks like we, we're going to have cherries around. I think they're not falling off. I, I hope so. We have planted these two last year and the other two this year those are sour cherries oh we got those together or no yes we got them from farmers uh, barnyard flea market look at this how cool are they very beautiful and the persimmon tree look at those this is also last year I, I'm saying last year we moved here about nine months ago if you're new to the channel uh, we moved from California to South Carolina and we couldn't be happier. So yeah, it's like dream come true. Okay, let's go. Are you I think uh, these need to be removed. As you know, they are taking the energy from the main tree. And this, I, I think if I plant it in a soil, it should become another cherry tree. I'll try. It's not gonna work, but I always like trying. It never works, but I like trying. Okay, you stay here and hope you survive. Okay. <laughs> Look, I have my gloves, but they're always somewhere else. Okay.
Okay. This was the magic I was talking about. I mean, it's magical for me. For some, it may be just, I don't know, a field full of wild violets. To me, it's like, I don't know, out of this world. Look at this. So once in a while, we come with kids, with boys and with girls to, to pick them up. Look at them. And the other day we picked up a lot. Uh, apparently they are very very good for you they heal bronchitis they are natural antibiotic anti-inflammatory what else and it happened that I don't know if it was a coincidence but I had it was just starting this uh, dry and like, I don't know cough you know the dry cough and you know you're gonna get sick um, so I drank the tea next day I had no cough and I forgot that uh, I was supposed to get sick anyways I don't know I think it was the flowers so this year I'm planning to pick up some more to dry out and save it as a natural medicine because we don't use we barely have any medications in our um, in our home Maybe we have some aspirin and that's it. That's the only medication. So yeah, Mother Nature uh, gifted us with such amazing, healing, powerful creatures. So all, all we need to know is just to find out about them. Look, this is fully edible. You can eat the stems. My hands look awful. You can even dry out and make the tea with leaves. So, and I also heard the roots are edible too. They heal something else. I'll find out. But anyways, this is the best part. Oh, and also this wild, uh, I don't know how you would call this. It tastes like garlic and onion. I don't know how it's called. It should have a wild garlic onion, maybe, but it's super, super good for you. Uh, you can chop it in your salad, you can eat it fresh. I was teaching the boys the other day. I would tell them if you eat this, you'll get taller and stronger. So they believed it. So far, they got a little bit more taller. <laughs> Mom, you want to try some? You may get taller. Too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Never too late. Yeah, it, it smells like garlic. It's so good. I don't want to eat it now, but I'll eat it later. So, Arandi, can you just film this part nicely? I, I want everyone to see how magical this looks. There is a lot of them. And I always tell the kids, don't step on them, just be careful. Because I think, um, I don't know, maybe I'm exaggerating, but it's, it's amazing. Okay, let's go. We'll be back here probably on the weekend. I'm thinking since I'm here, I'll pick up a couple of them. Because they grow, the more you pick up, the more they grow. You have that impression. Every time we get back, it's more and more of them. And they are even more taller and like bigger in size. Mm -hmm. I'd stay here till night if I had the chance. <laughs> but it's gonna be too scary at night. So yeah, let's go. They smell interesting. They don't have this beautiful aroma, but they smell like spring, which is amazing. I can't get enough of this beauty. So dear viewers, let's go to the other part of our forest. I want to show you another one of our projects. <laughs> okay, let's go.
So this will be the Inori River. I have never heard of this river. Have you ever heard of Inori River? Up until you moved to live by the side of it. Um, it's a small, very mellow and mild looking river. Well, sometimes it's very clean and um, clear, but sometimes it's very muddy. And there is a fish in it. I, I can't find any to show you, but my husband have seen a couple of them, like big black fishes. I don't know how it's called. Maybe black cod? <laughs> you wish. And yes, again, our neighbor Eric cleaned up and made all this. Oh, look, what, what is it? Oh, that's a rabbit, Aram. Okay, I don't know if you've seen it. Anyways, so this Mm, beach part <laughs> by the river <laughs> looks nice and clean now it used to have lots of unnecessary un uninvited thorns and bushes and branches and now you can place a nice bench here and just sit and enjoy blossoming I don't know how it's called it has white blossom so many blooming trees here one is better looking than the other um, what else I was gonna show you okay let's go we have that second fireplace we're planning he's planning on building oh and also we have lots of sand sometimes when we need sand when we're doing our gardening Someone will come out and uh, come down and bring the sand. See, that's why you need this car. You can't walk. Uh, we have five acres. It's only five acres. But you can't manage to walk around to get stuff, bring stuff. So that's why you need to have something like this. And we were borrowing our neighbor's Eric's car <laughs> for more than two weeks. And he was generously, I mean, lending it to us. But yeah, we decided we do need something like this. My hair looks like... I don't know. I don't know what. It's windy. Here again used to be a mess. Lots of thorns, dead trees and everything. So look at it. it looks more cleaner now. And my husband thinks he can simply mulch the area, bring down that big fire uh, fire pot. <laughs> I call it a pot. Here some benches, some I don't know, nice and cozy area we can make it we're thinking he's thinking and i agree and then the view to the pond hopefully mosquitoes won't be bothering you too much <laughs> but they say when you have the fire they don't like the smoke so hopefully he'll have time to enjoy his little cigar so yeah we're very happy and i also planted the elderberry bush over there i don't know if you can see i put the red cup around for you to notice okay let's go i want to show you the outdoor kitchen like the beginning of the big project
case I'll take my future cherry trees with me uh, what we did we simply made the base of the kitchen I don't know if you remember if you've been following my other channel my Russian channel um, you may have seen this area it used to be simple grass uh, and at first we decided to build to continue building the deck till this side and then it was way too expensive it's like building half house <laughs> building half deck so we decided eventually to do concrete to have this leveled nice area and then we'll have the sink here because we already have all the plumbing work done we have we'll have probably in this area pizza oven some i don't know barbecue area we'll see but a sink and pizza oven have their spaces already set up nothing too much to see at this point but i'll be updating you when we continue like sharing a few other episodes my garden <laughs> you'll see so i don't know if this was an interesting video i'll find out when i read your comments and again i want to thank you so much for watching for supporting for commenting and sharing thank you all i'll see you soon see you nice